All right, guys, no fun intro today. We're just going to get right to it. I promised that I would show you if we could add games to the Dreamcast uh, HDD product that we bought from AliExpress. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I had to take the cover off there. In order to take the cover off, you have to actually unscrew it from the bottom. So uh, I had covered that in a prior episode. So pretty easy to do, though. You just unscrew the screws and then the top comes off. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to remove... Um, this PCB and there's these uh, three screws right here we're gonna have to remove and then we can finally um, get the drive out um, there's actually two more screws that hold the drive in too from the bottom so we're just gonna unscrew these real quick I'm gonna actually fast forward through this process so we can uh, get the show on the road all right so let's get this PCB out so we can get this drive and uh, hook it up to the computer and see what we're gonna get uh, your guess is as good as mine so just remove it with those three screws and then we have these two underneath the PCB and then we can remove that hard drive so I am going to do that right now so just remove these two screws and then after that we have the drive just wiggle it out uh, don't, don't uh, be too rough with it and there it is so I'm gonna go downstairs because I have a connector for these older style IDE drives that I can then go and uh, these IDE SATA drives and I can go and hook it up to my computer and we can see what we're gonna get I'm gonna record that so you guys can see what this thing comes up as and we'll try to figure out if we can add games to this thing all right, so we're over on my PC now. I'm gonna go plug in the drive and we'll see what we're gonna get. Ooh, all right, there it is. Okay, let's see. Okay, so here it is. It's showing up as the D drive and it's got this funky lettering that almost looks like it's Russian or something. I have no idea what that is, but um, I had plugged this in earlier, so I do know uh, kind of what this looks like, but basically how it's broken down is DS is all the files needed to run Dream Shell. And then there's a folder here called Games. So it's broken down, which is kind of funny. It's broken down, it says Retail. Um, clearly, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing retail about this. But anyways, that says Retail. And if you click in here, all the games are kind of separated. So actually, before I did this, I tried to add games directly into these folders by alphabetical order, and they don't show up in the menu. So I can't really figure out how to get games onto the menu. But I have a hunch that if we add the games to the root of the drive, we can use the ISO loader to load them manually. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to copy over a couple games. I didn't have a bunch of games to choose from. So in my downloads folder on my local machine, I had uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which I know was one you guys wanted to play. I just picked games that I knew were not on there. Ready to Rumble Boxing uh, Part 2. Um, the Smash Pack, if you haven't seen that before. It's got Streets of Rage, but it emulates like, like butt on... Uh, on Redream, so maybe on original hardware it won't, and uh, Street Fighter uh, X Japan, 2X Japan. So I'm gonna copy these things over. So as we copy these over, I just wanted to let you know, these are in uh, their native format. I'm not changing them at all, so, um, so I'm not converting them to ISOs or anything. They're actually uh, GDI files uh, and bin files. So I'm just putting those right there in specific folders. Now, the one thing that I want to explore later is I don't know anything about Dream Shell. There may be files that you can edit to add games to that menu system that they have. Uh, for right now, because it wasn't as simple as adding the games and they just showed up, I would, um, I'm going to explore that later. But for purposes of this, we're just going to see if we can get that ISO loader app that's on um, the Dream Shell front end to maybe load um, these games so we'll check it out as soon as this is done copying uh, we'll we'll see what happens okay so the copy is complete so what I'm gonna do now is you can see uh, all those folders are there um, I'm just gonna take the drive um, out I'm gonna unmount it from the desktop and then we're gonna take it out and put it back into the Dreamcast and see see what happens so uh, oh, well, let me eject it oh, well. all right I'm gonna power it off then I'm gonna power it off we'll throw it back into the Dreamcast and uh, hopefully we can play these games. Okay, I'm gonna fire up the Dreamcast and we'll see what we're gonna get here. Cross your fingers. All right, so far so good. Okay, that's a good sign. All right, and we're back at the Dream Shell um, front end. Okay, so ISO Loader is the app I was talking about. Let's go there. And if we go to IDE, because this is actually a board that has an IDE connector on it. So it has a very old school 2.5 inch hard drive on it. Um, and it is an IDE connection. So I'm gonna go IDE. All right, so now you do see the folders uh, for the games I added. So I'm gonna try um, Super Street Fighter 2 first. 
um, because, you know, we got to have some anticipation for Marvel vs. Capcom. So let's see how this works out. All right. It, uh, I don't know how it grabbed the... I don't know how it would have grabbed the artwork. That's weird. All right, anyways, because it's not like this thing's connected online or anything. So maybe there's some sort of database on it that has, like, all the artwork on it already? Hmm. Okay. Anyways, that's weird. Let's pull it up and see if it works. Well, I'm looking at the hard drive light, and it's not doing anything. Oh, wait. I don't see anything. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to say we're 0 for 1, because that doesn't look right to me. Does it look right to you? <laughs> that does not look right. That looks like an Atari game, and I definitely don't think we're playing Atari. So let's try the next one. All right, let's try Ready to Rumble Boxing round two. Again, it pulls up the. They must have. They must have all the thumbnails of all the games. It's, I get that's the only explanation for that one. All right, cross your fingers. Okay, that looks better. That definitely looks better than the last one. The question is, does it play, or does it just sit? menu <laughs> well this doesn't look good either maybe there's a reason why there's only a certain amount of games on it because they only put the games on it that work all right let's uh yeah it won't even let me it won't let me it won't let me do the little reset function okay i'm gonna reboot the console and we'll try we'll try one of the other games but let's do the smash pack and then we'll see if that works and it has the graphics all right Let's see what we get. Ah! Ho oh, ho ho! The Smash Pack! Smash Pack works. Well, we think it works. Let's see. What game should we play? I mean, obviously, you guys know what I would pick. I'm gonna pick Streets of Rage. Let's see. Ooh, listen to how awesome this soundtrack sounds. I've never... Oh, God, come on. Ah, uh, it's ruined. Uh. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! This was how... Yuzo Koshiro would be super stoked at this. This is exactly how he intended it to sound. I mean, come on. Listen to this. Mmm, sweet sounds. Let's just play a minute of it, because it's so good. Oh my gosh, listen to the jump noise! That's so dumb. Okay, okay, last we'll do Marvel vs. Capcom 2. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I was really excited about the opportunity to do this, thinking that'd be something really cool. Ah oh, man, this is what you get with China products, I'm telling you. They develop stuff and they go. They go almost all the way there, and they just go, eh, it's good enough. People will buy it like this. It's cool. Like, that's just what they do. They go, like, a, they go almost all the way. And then they'll come out with a version, the next version, and it will, some stuff will work, and other stuff will break. It's just the way they do things. I don't know why. It's just the way it is. I buy a lot of these China brand products, and it just, it just is like that. Uh, my buddy Wicked Gamer and Collector, him and I were talking about it. It's like, it's incredible. They'll, they'll, they fix something and break something else. They break something else, they fix other things. It's like they never, I think it's, it's obviously the fact that they want to keep pumping out systems and things for people to buy. So I just feel like it's intentional in a way. Like the QA is intentionally not good. Anyways, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, let's give it a shot. It's because it's what you guys came here for anyway. All right. Hmm. Little stutter in there. Capcom Marvel versus Capcom 2. Ooh. New Age of Heroes. I'm gonna take you for a ride. Alright, enough of that. Let's do it. 
I'm not I'm not feeling like this is gonna go well. Now one thing I do notice is uh, it's accessing the crap out of the hard drive, and this is not a fast hard drive. It's a 4.2 or 4200 RPM drive. So if there is an opportunity to uh, maybe uh, upgrade that to a faster drive, that may help some of the stuttering that we're getting. Uh, I don't know. It's just an idea. But uh, yeah, it's definitely not playing very well. Hey. Jeez. Anyways, well, I mean, it's clear that it doesn't play full speed. So I don't know, there's really no point in sitting here and playing any more of it, but. I don't know. That's a bummer. But, you know, I'm still going to try... I think I'm going to try um, cloning the drive and putting, like, a faster drive in just to see if maybe... Um, maybe that'll make a difference. And I don't know. Who knows? Maybe a clone drive won't even work, right? So, all right. It's a bummer, guys, but it is what it is. Um, so, here's the internal drive. And like I said, this thing is a 120 gig... Uh, ATA IDE drive, and it's 4200 RPMs. Now, obviously, it did play Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but it was all stuttery and kind of slow. Uh, 4200 RPM drive is pretty damn slow, and I don't think these had any cash on them at all. It doesn't look like it does. I think I'm, I'll go look up the model number. It's a Hitachi Travel Star, but I don't think it. I don't think it has any cash on it. That would also help. So I'm gonna see maybe if I can get you know for like 20 bucks or something. Uh, 5400 RPM or even like a 7200 RPM. The thing is, you need these pins on the back. The newer drives don't have that. The newer two and a half inch drives, um, let's see if I have one here. I don't actually have one here. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll flash a picture of it uh, when I edit the video. But those, um, yeah, the, so so I can find these probably on, um, on Amazon pretty cheap or even eBay. So I'll give it a shot, I'll clone it and um, I'll see what I can do. It's fun because, um, you know, on these older drives, you could do things like uh, set the jumpers for what device ID it's going to be. And they have it on cable select, and they didn't put a jumper on it. They actually soldered it. They actually, like, put a little solder point on it. It's like, come on, man. Like, that's just dumb. Like, they couldn't have put a little jumper on it. They soldered it. And so, basically, you're stuck with it that way unless... Uh, yeah, unless you desoldered it, but it's just kind of goofy. But anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna clone it. So this I will do a part three where I'll investigate a little bit further. But uh, so far, I'm kind of thinking the adding of the games isn't that great. But I don't know. Maybe if I put a faster drive in, that will help that problem. But it was accessing the crap out of the out of the um, HDD when uh, there's a little access light when we were playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So anyways. That's it for now, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please like the video. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy stuff like this. We do a lot of things like this. Uh, we started with arcades, uh, but we do a whole bunch of different stuff on the channel, but mostly all um, console-based stuff, arcade-based stuff, and uh, modding and all sorts of fun things. So if that's what you're into, then um, definitely subscribe. Hit notifications to be informed of future updates. And um, yeah, put uh, put your comments below and hear what you guys think of this thing. And Thanks for watching, guys. We'll uh, we'll see you on the next one.